hello everyone and welcome back to glancer before we get started if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update so in my previous video i have discussed about what is meant by predicate argument structure so in this particular video i am going to discuss only about meaning representation in the concept of semantic interpretation so this meaning representation is the final process of semantic interpretation right so what is mean by meaning representation then the final process of semantic interpretation is to build a semantic representation or meaning representation that can be manipulated by algorithms see um uh, in the re i mean in the previous requirements like uh, we have identified word senses and we have identified events we have identified entities and we have identified the predicate argument structure right but if you directly feed those things to the system it can't understand you have to represent in such a way that the system could understand so how we are going to represent maybe in the form of graphs maybe in the form of grammatical rules maybe you can serve them in the form of logical forms anything but the system has to understand it properly so the process of representing it so that system can understand easily is nothing but meaning representation so here are the two examples for that so before this process is sometimes called as deep representation also so this is also known as deep re representation so let's take this first example if our player 2 has the ball then position our player 5 in the midfield so what it means if suppose player 2 is having the ball with him then you have to place this player 5 in the midfield how we are going to represent it so take this or take this re representation let's understand this if the player 2 has the ball what it means he is a bowler right so if the player 2 is bowler then what you have to do is you have to place this player 5 in the position that is midfield position you have to place him so i think you got a clear understanding so le let me explain you the second time if the player 2 is bowler then you have to what we have to do is you have to place this player 5 in the midfield midfield is nothing but the position okay the second example which river is the longest let's uh, assume that there are several rivers but x1 is the longest among all those rivers what is what this particular thing means is c if uh, before discussing this let's understand how you how you are going to tell that particular river is the longest so it should satisfy two conditions the first thing is that particular what you are considering i mean that particular I said that you have to assume x1 as a river, right? So whatever you are considering is should be a river. So x1 should be a river. And the second uh, condition it should satisfy is it, that x1 river should be longest among all the rivers. See, if you consider uh, x1, x1 is nothing but a river. So that x1 should be longest among all the rivers. So you can uh, tell that x1 is the longest river so this is about meaning representation so thank you for watching till end uh, i have noticed that many of you were watching my videos but haven't subscribed yet if you feel these le lectures are really helping you then please consider subscribing to the channel it really gives me the boost to create more content like this and don't forget to like and share with friends who might find it helpful so thank you